Hello folks, today we are going to do unboxing, assembly and a very quick review of Red Diamond which is a 144Hz gaming monitor from Red Dragon. It comes with all these fancy RGB lights in the back which are customizable, they can be changed and it also has a very interesting little Red Dragon logo which gets thrown on the bottom of the monitor. So let's see how does this laptop perform in the real world and let's get it out of the box shall we? Red Diamond Gaming Monitor comes in a very robust and fancy packing. On one side we have the Red Dragon logo, the front face of the monitor which is showing 25 inch dimension. The company name, the brand name sorry Red Diamond and the monitor model GM7FT25 and some other gaming modes, iSaver, 144Hz etc etc. They have also demonstrated how the Red Dragon logo looks like, which you can see from the stand which I will show you in the video ahead as well. On one of the side panels, they are showing that it has HDMI and DisplayPort. Along with the view how it looks from the top. Coming over to the other side of the box, it has the back side of the monitor also showing the RGB lights and how the stand will look like you can see the RGB lights are on the both side they're quite good again on the other side panel they have same modes which were shown on the front as well uh, nothing fancy here so I think it's time that we should uh, open up the box The first thing that comes out of the box is the stand itself, it is quite robust and sturdy and weighs a lot. The quality seems good enough. This is the light which will be throwing the hologram of Red Dragon. Let's see what else we have. These are the legs which will go under the, this is the manual. The other leg, HDMI cable, it comes from within the box. The adopter, the display port cable, it also comes along. This is the cover which goes underneath the stand which I showed earlier. And here comes the main thing, the monitor. Let's put the box aside first and let's remove the packing from the monitor. The first impression of the monitor is quite good. The borderless display is very nice and it can balance itself without even the stand as well. That is something interesting. The manual which comes along does not explain the procedure on how to assemble the stand. It just shows some uh, warnings, precautions what all things come inside the box how you can tilt the display 
and what all ports are included and it also lists all the menu options on the monitor and all the menus items and settings inside the menu and that is good it comes in handy uh, if you want to just reference the manual to quickly understand what all those options mean you can do that other than that there's nothing important now let's assemble the monitor two legs comes inside a packing each is marked uh, right and left both the legs have the marking so you'll know which leg goes where on the stand these legs are quite heavy but they do have uh, rubber pads underneath so it will not damage wherever you put your monitor on glass or table we'll take it out of the backing and the screws also come along Now when we have assembled the stand, let's put the front casing on the stand. It's very easy and self-explanatory. You just fit it in and it gives a very good ventilated look to the screws. Attaching the monitor is easy and there are two hooks at the top you just put them in and there's a lever in the back of the stand you just pull it up and the monitor click in. There we go. Let's connect the power supply and turn this thing on. The buttons are underneath the monitor on the right side. They are quite firm and big. It, you can just feel them with your finger and they are very hard and make a very prominent and clear sound when you press them. You turn on the monitor, you get greeted by the logo, uh, which is quite red and sharp. And then you can see the hologram being displayed at the table as well. It might not be clear here because that it's a glass table. If you put it on a um, desk table it might be very clear I'm sure let's turn it around and see the RGB I have turned off the lights of the room so you can get a very clear glimpse how they look they are very prominent and uh, they are depicting sort of the wings of a dragon uh, it's quite good uh, there are various different settings um, solid colors red blue green uh, then they are uh, uh, morph then you can even turn it off and uh, this is the lift and you can also lower and increase the height of the monitor uh, both the adjustments are very easy to do uh, let me show you from this angle as well You can also push or pull the monitor down and up to adjust that but I think doing it from the support is kind of easy although I've noticed when I'm pulling it or pushing it down or up the logo blinks a bit this is the tilt again easy
let me play a video on YouTube the color tint you can see in the display that is because of Microsoft uh, the Windows night mode has been turned on automatically the colors are very bright and crisp as of now at the time of recording this uh, I did not uh, change the Hertz from 60 to 120 because currently I'm connected with HDMI let's explore the menu settings these are the settings which you will be prompted with from here you can change camera settings then you can kind of change the RGB on the back side of the monitor you can also turn off the logo on the button uh, you can also do it with a dedicated button or from the settings in the menu complete details of the menu settings are given in the manual there's a red disc above this light which you can move i thought it is a button but it is not and i have a feeling that we can pull it out and we can have anything of our own will and wish and we can display that but i'll explore that some other time on the back side of the monitor you have a power cable usb in two usb outs two hdmi 1.4 and 2.0 and the display port the buttons underneath the monitor are very prominent and you cannot have accidental clicks on this thing Well that's all what I have for now. I have not connected any game yet. Uh, so the 144Hz display uh, demo or sort of a review will come after a few days when I get to build my uh, actual gaming grip. I have got all the parts. It's uh, just a matter of a few more days. Uh, I hope it was a bit helpful. Uh, it's a new product, uh, not widely available throughout the world. I can see some reviews in Brazil. and. Uh, well, if you have liked the video, just give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Thank you.